R is my favorite letter, sure, because it has one of every stroke. So there's a vertical, there's a horizontal, just a little one to connect the ball, the, the bowl and the tail. I'm doing this right way around for you. There's a diagonal and there's a curve. So they have all the strokes there, yeah, and all the intersections. And uh, it's just, it's, it's, it's a kind of magic, you know. Hi, I'm John Benson. I'm the owner and operator of this studio, and I spent uh, 30 years in the Stephen shop, which is the old stone carving shop here in Newport, which has been in existence since 1705. My father bought it on a loan from a, from a wealthy Fred, and he jumped in with both feet, and he managed to do it very, very well, and he was a charmer, and a Hexenmeister with his clientele who could wave a wand and make them believe they were in the presence of an extraordinary artist, which after a while they were. My father died when I was uh, 16 and I had come and worked the previous summer here in the shop with my father and I started to get a vague notion of what it was like to carve a letter in stone. Bear in mind that I had known my father was doing it all those years. And so for me to have a, a jump on it was probably fair. I found that I was enamored of the physicality of the material. And this is what bound me to it. And this is what people would ask, well, why do you want to mess around with these funny old pieces of stone? And what about all these dead people? And I said, or I thought in my head, you know, this is, a, uh, this is a good thing to do. This is the nature of immortality. The stone is what it is. And if you make something out of granite, and if you keep it completely uh, uh, free of the worst kind of weather, it's going to last lifetimes and lifetimes. Everybody learns their a ABCs. And the ABCs are the capital letters. And no matter how far they go to handwriting or anything like that, that's the first letter that the school children, at least in my age, used to get. And there's this stick letter that you do this way. And that's what the letter is. That's the archetype and the soul of the letter. And if you have different kinds of tools to draw it with, it's really incredibly simple, but the fact of it is very like ballet because the ballet people have to be able to make these extraordinary movements and if you stop and think of taking a brush loaded with paint and drawing it down here like this and like that you'll realize that the muscles here and here are concentrated on something that is in its way equally balletic. And if the person doing it has a reasonable and accurate description in his mind or her mind of what the letter should look, look like, and if they have trained their hands to do it, uh, Bob's your uncle. You got it. 